Three months after the 71st edition of Miss Universe pageant was held in New Orleans, the Miss Universe organization announced on its official app on March 15 that the winner of the best national costume is Ukraine's Victoria Apanasenko. Her costume is called the Warrior of Light, based on St. Michael the Archangel, which represents the inner strength of the Ukrainian people, their courage, determination, and love of freedom. It also symbolizes every woman who is fighting for her rights, freedom, and her future. Feature. The costume was designed by Lesia Patoka, the wings by the Crooked Feather, and it was reportedly created in four months in extreme conditions to the sound of sirens, without electricity, and by candlelight. It is great that Ukraine won the best national costume, but the symbolism behind the costume can be applied to any costume that incorporates wings, sword, and light. In other words, Victoria's costume is not truly representative of authentic Ukrainian culture. When I review costumes worn by past Ukrainian delegates, they usually wore the traditional costume for Ukrainian women called Vishivanka, the Ukrainian word for a traditionally styled embroidered shirt or dress. The designs are often ornate and colorful and represent features of Ukraine's landscape or cultural values. This costume is usually accessorized by a V-knock, a wreath made of real or fake flowers with long colorful ribbons attached to the back of it. Now, do I think that Ukraine winning the best costume award this year is based on politics? Absolutely. If Russia had not invaded Ukraine in February 2022, then Ukraine probably would not have been in the news and the country's delegates to various international pageants would have been ignored or received little attention. Ukraine winning the Best Costume Award this year is similar to Myanmar winning the award in 2020. As some of you may remember, Myanmar's representative Tuzar Wint Luen held up a Pray for Myanmar sign addressing her country's tumultuous political crisis at that time. Myanmar's military had overthrown the country's democracy in February 2021, killing hundreds of protesters and arresting Aung San Suu Kyi, the Nobel Peace Prize laureate who served as state counselor of Myanmar and minister of foreign affairs from 2016 to 2021. This was not her original costume as the original one had been lost in shipment. She was supposed to wear this costume inspired by a famous toy from Myanmar's culture. I think this costume is far more interesting, creative, and colorful than her alternate costume with a political message. But I doubt she would have won the best costume award with this one. Anyway, the Missionaries organization never truly explained the reason why Ukraine won the best national costume, apart from giving a summary of the symbolism behind it. And neither did the organization explain why it took three months for the winner to be chosen. But to me, Ukraine's costume was not that spectacular compared to others like um, Dominican Republic, whose costume is inspired by the palm chat, the country's national bird, or Greece, depicting the goddess Hera, who is also the protector of the family. Or what about Guatemala, depicting Mayan culture with jaguar? Or Mexico, screams Mexican culture with a big sombrero and a skirt made of chantilly with black embroidered sequins. And of course, hey, even if you don't mention the country's name, you can easily guess that this carnival costume screams Trinidad and Tobago. When I took a poll last week on my Instagram story asking my followers if Ukraine's best national costume win was based on politics, 66% voted yes against 34% who voted no. So one can safely say that a majority of those who voted yes would agree with me. So do you think that Ukraine's costume was really the best? And do you think that she won the award based purely on politics? Comment below. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and share. Until the next time, bye.